Our top story tonight, first responders and dispatchers have been the first line of defense when it comes to battling the pandemic. I talked with both professions to see how their protocols have changed due to COVID-19. Paramedics and EMTs are still taking every COVID-19 precaution possible. We don't know, you know, if, if they're positive or not. Uh, so they, they gown, we gown and so forth until, you know, we're proven different. Since the beginning of the pandemic, Tippecanoe Emergency Ambulance Service has seen an increase in their call numbers. From the beginning of the pandemic, yes, um, anywhere from about 12 to 15 runs per day. Even with Tippecanoe County's positivity rate at 4.4 percent, T says their call load hasn't slowed. We've not really seen a decline uh, in that at this point in time, but um, there, there has been an increase. 524. For dispatchers who are answering 911 calls, they say there have been less calls regarding COVID-19 now that Tippecanoe County's positivity rate has declined. COVID calls definitely have gone way down. Like we would take many, many calls a day back at the height of it for um, ambulances, people testing positive, having symptoms. But yeah, I definitely feel it's gone way down. For both professions, protocols have changed. T's originally had one ambulance dedicated to COVID-19 calls, but that's no longer the case. We couldn't dedicate that truck constantly for all the calls that were coming in, so we went ahead and just made that protocol for all the trucks instead of just one. As for dispatchers, for certain calls, they don't always send an officer if one isn't required. Now, obviously, if it required an in-person response, we would go and take those protocols, but um, we did try to handle a lot of things over the phone if we could. While both first responders say the changes have been stressful, they're grateful that they have always been able to send an ambulance when one is needed. I would never want my loved one's, you know, health to come down to somebody on the end of a phone making a decision. So that's, we've been very fortunate. According to a report by CBS in cities like Los Angeles, first responders were told not to take COVID patients to the hospital if they weren't likely to make it, a decision that has never had to be made in Tippecanoe County.